Hi everyone, my name is Casey Carpenter. And I'm Kyra Perrin. I'm Hannah Seeler. And I'm Abigail Allen. Perfect. And we're going to do our international um, health project on spina bifida. And we're just going to dive right into talking about what spina bifida is and then talk about our previous idea for a project and then what we're doing now. Um, and so first off, spina bifida is a non-curable birth defect in which the spinal cord develops incorrectly. So spina bifida occurs when the baby's spinal cord either develops incorrectly or it fails to close properly at all. And the symptoms of spina bifida um, can be seen protruding from the skin on the back, on the defective portion of the spinal cord. And the symptoms can include like a cyst-like bump or a birthmark or even like just a tuft of hair or protruding spinal tissue. Um, so as I mentioned previously, this defect has no cure. Um, there are surgical treatments, but they mainly just focus on fixing the complications of spina bifida. Um, so it's all just treatment route. And the effects of the disease differ from person to person. So in one person, it can be non-intrusive, but in another, it can lead to like crippling disability. And this disease is rare in developed countries like the United States because it can be easily prevented. And so a lot of the women in these developed countries take those precautions to, to prevent it in their own pregnancies and with their own children. Um, but there are some places in the world where it is a really scare, scary reality for the families. And one of these struggling countries is India. And so that's where we chose. And India um, faces a staggering statistics of spina bifida. They experience spina bifida in four to eight births out of every 1,000 live births. And the United States has four spina bifida births every 10,000 live births, just to kind of give you a comparison there. Um, but like I said before, it can be easily prevented. And that's through pregnant women taking a folic acid supplement. And so we can help these women and families in India to no longer have to face those crippling birth defects. So our previous intervention was originally planned to add folic acid to the water supply in India to solve the spina, spina bifida problem. We thought of this intervention because there is a similar intervention used to add fluoride to water to, to prevent tooth decay. Uh, this was going to give all women in the area enough folic acid to provide for a healthy pregnancy and children born without spina bifida. And folic acid is a harmless um, B vitamin that won't cause harm to others. Um, and it would be beneficial for all those who drink the water. Through the, re uh, through the research and continued collaboration, we found that this project is somewhat unrealistic. The cost to clean the water, add the folic acid, and distribute it to individuals would be too much for any nonprofit to bear. So because of this, we have found a new a new solution in a very different direction to solve the same problem, but in a larger scope. Instead of using water to um, di distribute the folic acid, we will instead use a food source. The World Health or Organization currently produces a fortified rice that contains 800 to 1,000 micrograms of folic acid per cup. The amount of folic acid needed during, during your pregnancy is 600 to 800 micrograms per day. Using this fortified rice as a means of getting folic acid into two pregnant mothers is a win-win solution. This is because India is one of the leading countries in starvation. Millions of people in, in India are mal, malnourished. Being able to give pregnant mothers both food and folic acid will greatly improve their pregnancy and the life of their babies. Um, so the next obstacle um, we faced was finding a means of distribution for this fortified rice. So how to get the rice um, from the World Health Organization to the mothers. And um, we did a lot of research and we found that India actually um, just released um, or just launched a food assistance program in their country um, to help so solve the starvation problem. And through this program, they are distributing grain and rice monthly to families in need. And so we found this a perfect means of distribution for the fortified rice from the World Health Organization.
Okay, and using this already existing program, we propose to distribute the fortified rice to all women 18 to 30 years of age instead of giving them the normal rice. And we chose this age group because it's optimal results for a child uh, to not have spina bifida. The folic acid amount needs to be already high in mothers before they conceive the child. And 18 years of age is the legal age for marriage in India. And then also by 30 years of age, um, it's proven that not many women in India are having children at that point. So based on what Casey said, this would be a perfect window to ensure low amounts of spina bifida. We will go through the World Health Organization to obtain free folic acid fortified rice and distribute it to women between the ages of 18 and 30 in India through their already existing food um, program. We believe that through this intervention, we will be able to change millions of lives. Spina bifida accounts will decrease drastically and more people will lead normal lives without the fear of their new babies getting this tragic birth defect. Thank you.